This is Kenny Castle with the Fit Pro Expo in 2005. I am here with a friend of mine, another New Jersey guy, the legendary bodybuilder, Rich Gaspari. Rich, you had a great career. You won the first Arnold, uh, and uh, you were one of the all-time greats. Um, how do you feel about your career? Did you enjoy it? I had a great career in bodybuilding. I mean, it was something that I wanted to do. I had the persistence, I had the drive to become a champion bodybuilder, and you know, I fulfilled my dream. I ended up becoming one of the best bodybuilders at, you know, of my time. I, I ended Absolutely. up Miss, Mr. World, like you said, Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic. Uh, the Mr. Olympia eluded, eluded me, but I got three times second place, which That's a right. lot of guys Lee Haney. haven't done. He's and the greatest. You know, so, you know, I had a great career in bodybuilding, and you know, this is my new thing now. It's actually not my new thing. It's like a lot of pro bodybuilders have to know that there's transitions in their lives. What they need to go from one aspect of being a pro bodybuilder to going into business or whatever other type of aspects. Right. Use it. Use your fame from the so bodybuilding. So someone like, as you know, the famous Arnold Schwarzenegger that used bodybuilding to become a famous actor and now governor. Right. Me too. I've always been an entrepreneur. Right. Uh, as a bodybuilder, I used to sell tapes and pictures and you know workout uh, workout stuff that we used to sell. Well, I got into the supplement uh, line because I used to endorse products. And it was like, you know what, I think I can do better or I can make something better. And I wanted to make products that were, you know, cutting edge and I wanted to make products that work. So I put my heart into, you know, coming out with Gaspari Nutrition and that's what I'm doing now. And, it, you know, it seems to pay off after like six years. We've become a national company. Right. Uh, we just got into GNC. We're in the vitamin shop and right. we're in a lot of stores. So it's exciting for me. This is my new Olympia becoming, you know, a, a top national supplement company. Well, I know you've been driven. You know, I judged you in your first contest back probably 81 or 82. Wow. And then I was there when you won the nationals, you and, and Natashak in 84. That To me, that was the greatest nationals ever. You think Corey won, turned pro there, you and uh, John and Mike yes. Christian. And it seems you put the same drive you had for bodybuilding into your company, haven't you? Yes, I did. I mean, what business takes, just like bodybuilding, it takes persistence. Uh, it takes positive attitude, you know, it takes a winning mind. Uh, I believe in what I do and doing that, I mean, I know with persistence and having that type of attitude, you can become successful. In right. bodybuilding, you know, people said, well, Gaspari, I don't know if you're going to become a top pro. When I won the Nationals, they thought I wasn't going to be a top professional. And like I said, getting second in the Olympia. Same thing when I got into the supplement business, I started with very little money. Right. Did this thing and just went door to door, knocking on people's doors. I wasn't afraid to work. Right. And with persistence, you know, and with time and just, you know, perspiration and hard work, positive attitude, you know, and, and we're going to keep are. going. Yes. And here you are. Now you, I, I, I see your ads all over the place now. You've really, uh, I'm proud of you. You've really done well. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That's what we're trying to do. It's just, you know, we're trying to make a better product. And that's, you know, like I said, a niche market in the industry. And that's what we're trying to do. But you're helping other people, which is a great thing, you know. That's what you try to do. I mean, it's besides, it's, you know, having a business is, you know, about making money. But what I do this for is to help the other bodybuilders, to help people that I've been involved with. And this is my way of giving back to the sport. Yeah, which is great. I mean, this is what we need. So, Rich, uh, another way you've given back to the uh, to the sport of bodybuilding is you've become an IFBB judge, haven't you? Yes, I did. I mean, you know, I've been judged by all the you know, all the different the judges, and, you know, one of the hardest uh, things to do is to judge, you know, right. pro bodybuilders. But it was something I wanted to also give back to the sport. And being a judge, I mean, it's, it's great to just see those guys who work so hard to be a top pro well, I'm, I'm there to look at them and to, you know, pick the best bodybuilder out there. And, and, and for me, it's, it's an honor to be able to do that. Right. I got to judge the Olympia. I got to judge the Arnold Classic. Right, right. I still judge. I'm an IPB judge and do pro, uh, judge professional shows. Right, right. So it is a great honor to do that. Well, and the thing is, the, the competitors have a great amount of respect for you because you've done it all in bodybuilding. So, and it gives you a different perspective. Do you, after you've judged now, do you, when, when a few times maybe you thought you could have placed higher or whatever and maybe disagreed with the judges, did that change your, your thought process as far as that, you know what I mean? Very much because, you know, like you said, there was times that I felt I should have won and, and you know, you, you complain to the judges and I've had the same thing happen to me where, you know, right. contestants come up to me and think they should have won and right. there are like seven judges or nine judges so everyone has a different opinion who should win. 
But I mean, you're looking at these people and they're looking at themselves. They really can't see themselves right. the way a judge sees them and analyzes them. So exactly. they may think different in their mind. That's why it's good for a, you know, a bodybuilder to just take the criticism, mm -hmm. you know, con constructive criticism right. from all the different judges to see how they can improve upon that. Right. You know, I encourage even amateur bodybuilders on a local level, try judging because it'll change your perspective and it'll make you a better competitor because you'll learn a lot.